Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to do text to AI videos. I'm gonna show you multiple styles and we're gonna do it on a website called replicate.com. For those of you that are new to this type of video, it's basically using Stable Diffusion, but Stable Diffusion has a plugin that is called Deforum. And Deforum allows you to create these text to AI videos. The stuff that you've been seeing running in the background here while, I, while I'm talking, this was all created using this tool. Okay. Here we go, let's get started. First step, go to replicate.com like I've done here. I will put a link in the description below. Now, at the top right, click on sign in. When you click on sign in, you're gonna notice that you need to have a GitHub, basically a GitHub account, and they're free accounts, but you need to sign in with GitHub. So I'm gonna sign in with GitHub, and presto, here we go. And then if you look here, you'll see that I've been running uh, all sorts of deformed videos all day today. It's been quite a busy day doing this. So here we go. Now, all right. So let's go to our dashboard, and now we're going to go to Explore. Under Explore, you'll see here a whole bunch of stable diffusion type stuff, different models, different styles, etc., etc. But what you want to do is you want to actually go down a little bit below here, and you want to go to, where is it? It's right here, Videos. Of course, it's called Videos. And it says Models that Create and Edit Videos. And it is Deforum. These are the ones we want. So here we go. I'm going to click on Videos. When I do that, you're going to see a whole bunch of options here and a lot of these are really really good i'm going to show you my favorite ones but again if you're if you're trying this out and you want to try one of these models go for it they're all really really good stuff the most popular one has to be this one here the deform stable diffusion and it allows you to animate prompts with stable diffusion and when you click on that like i just did here you'll see here that it's got a demonstration output so this is actually one of the videos that it's already done to show you what you can do and it's actually got some prompts already built in max frames etc i'll walk you through this very quickly but i encourage you to try this out and explore and, and change up these numbers and things like that as you see fit but what you want is the max number of frames this is the first thing you can change i'm going to leave it at 100 but 100 frames is going to be at and at 15 frames per second that basically means you're going to get just over a six second animation here so depending on how many frames you want or how long you want the animation to be and how fast you want it to be in terms of how many frames per second keep that in the back of your head i'm going to leave it as default in the animation prompts this is where you can get interesting i'm going to go robot i don't know uh playing with a bulldog uh pixar style i don't know i mean you can just go nuts right octane octane render sure whatever something like that trending on art station i guess everybody puts that in there so whatever it must mean something okay trending on art station something like that okay perfect now you can go down here a little bit further and you're going to see here a few other things you can angle it this is very very sensitive so and it's not very well display explained if i'm being honest with you these are kind of without a frame of reference, like here it says zoom 1.04, and you'll see here that this video is zooming quite quickly, but I like to take it down to 1.01, .01, and it zooms it a lot slower. That said, you do not see a preview of this because it has to generate it, so you kind of get what you get at the moment. Um, also keep in mind that Deform can be run on PCs and, and things like that, so this is just using it because I have a MacBook, and Mac doesn't run Deform that well. And uh, yeah, unless you have a really high powered GPU, you may want to consider using Replicate. Anyways, carrying on, you can do the translation of X and translation Y. What this basically means is you can pan it to the left or pan it to the right. I'll, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that in this one, but I want you to know that it's there. Lastly, you can change up the sampler. The samplers are not well explained. KLMS is my favorite. But if you want to try other ones, go for it. Anyways, there we go. I'm going to click Submit. And then you're going to see here that now it's running an output. So it's processing it. And when it's done, I'm going to come back and show you what we got. All right, everybody. Welcome back. It took a few minutes here, but it did it. And look at this. We've got a robot playing with a bulldog. Pixar style. Pretty good. It's got all sorts of morphing and changes. And I really, really like it. If you want to keep this, you just click on the download button. And then you'll get this option here. I'm going to click on these three little dots download and presto i own it i made it there it is now i'm going to go back and show you a few last second things that you may want to look at here's the original here you can go under this animation prompts keep in mind if you type in zero and then colon that basically means space that means at the zero frame so at the beginning it's a beautiful forest by whoever this is 
And then if you wanted to do 30 frames, colon, you could be like uh, Julius Caesar, uh, whatever you want it to be. And then you can be at, okay, and then at the 50th frame, I want it to be, I don't know, Genghis Khan. And what's happening here is you can actually go ahead and tell it where to morph to. So at the zero seconds, it's a forest. At the 30 seconds, we want to be near Julius Caesar. 50 seconds, Genghis Khan. And then the 100 frame or the 100 frame, not seconds, pardon me, we want it to be uh, Alexander the Great, for example. It's just an idea, but this is another way that you can go ahead and sort of give it prompts and instructions. Other than that, this is it. Keep in mind, there are all these different options. This one here, stable diffusion animation, means interpolating between two prompts. So you can start with like a like this one here for default. It has a rectangular black monolith, and then it with monkeys in the desert, and then it ends at, you know, a white room in the future with a bed. So you can go ahead and interpolate between two different styles. So that is very, very cool. This one is a great model. And the other one I really, really liked is this one here, this Cartoonify. You can basically take any video like Harry Potter, for example, and then kind of turn it into a cartoon. Just drag and drop it in. Here's your initial in file, so the video you want to cartoonify, and it'll run it for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.